morning. Um, well, here we are in the middle of uh, the moors and of the central highlands. And if you look behind me, you'll be able to see where we are. Right for our station, the famous station which is featured on train spotting. And today, this fella up here. Produce our equity card now because we're going to be <laughs> However, weather is looking a bit ominous, some cloud in the summits. Um, further down the track, you can see it's pretty heavily clouded. But at the moment, uh, behind the lap seems to be uh, just a wee bun of cloud in it, so we might be lucky. Um, however, I'll bring you back later and uh, let you see how things are progressing. Okay, speak to you soon. Back again. See my wee pal Debbie here. Now, as we pan round the left, okay, these hills here, this fella here, the big one with the snow in it, that's Minion Moor, and the left to his left is Minion Beck, so that's basically the Moor Range. Um, looking further round, we're seeing the Grey Corries Range. See all these jagged ridges and all the rest of it, hopefully. A little further down, I'm not quite sure, but it's a good bit further. In fact, if you take that back, that's not the Grey Quarries. The Grey Quarries should be to the right, I think. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad, but we'll try and get you nearer the summit. Okay. Um, Debbie and I are um, in the summit shelter in Ben the Lap, so just over 900 metres. I'm going to spin you around and let you see some of the, the views. We have got some other walkers here, but um, anyway, I'm sure you'll you'll enjoy the view just the same. Benaklakar, a group of three men rows. Now we're looking on to Craig Meggy, Craig Meggy group. And then the hills nearest us here are Knorr Jerag and Scriordan. 
um, that's two that Debbie and I have completed. So this is section nine of the Monroe book I believe and um, this is my last one in this section so that's complete. Right. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we've been really, really lucky today. 